Good evening and welcome inside the NHC. Zach Fish joined alongside Eddie in the zone to roll. Rowe gets it, shoots and scores. Tic-tac-toe, Garrett Rowe. Sponsoring the keys to the game. All seven seniors in the lineup tonight for St. Cloud State University. Back to Reed. He's got a shot. He scores. Cam Reed buries it. A ceremony as a guy that lives in Green St. Cloud State hockey. Ball, I mean, uh, down low to Eddie. Best retaliation. Be a goalie. Shoots and scores. David Eddie. How about that? It's hockey night in St. Cloud, whether you're out on the pond or on the ice here at National Hockey Center. The Wisconsin Badgers and St. Cloud State Huskies go head to head in the last home regular season game here for the St. Cloud State Huskies. Good evening and welcome inside National Hockey Center. Zach Fish joined alongside by former St. Cloud State forward Mike Doyle. And Mike, last night a very impressive performance for St. Cloud State University, a 4-2 win. It'll be senior night here tonight. Seven guys will be honored and hopefully those guys as well as the rest of the team can carry over the momentum from yesterday. Yeah, a lot of emotion on senior your night. Hopefully they can continue the momentum, keep that hot play, physical nature, and just finish checks and really bring it to the Badgers tonight. Well, hopefully they certainly can do that. They'd love a sweep, only one on the year here in this building. they love another one against Wisconsin. How will they do it? Let's take a look at our keys to the game, brought to you by St. Cloud Subaru, the safest cars on ice. First key to the game is going to be the senior class, like we said earlier, senior night. Very emotional game. Seniors got to set the tone, play hard, play physical. Just forget about that your parents are in the stands your family's here watching play a smart solid game second key to the game is going to be transition last night the Huskies did a great job of clogging up the middle not letting Wisconsin get in that transition game and capitalizing on their transition final key to the game is going to be uh, special teams last night it got a little chippy only six power plays five of them came for the Huskies but they were over Wisconsin will probably get more power play opportunities tonight so look for that as the third key to the game our thanks to St. Cloud Subaru for sponsoring the keys to the game. All seven seniors in the lineup tonight for St. Cloud State University. Dan Dunn will get the call and goal. And for more analysis on this one, let's check in downstairs with our own Jordan Winan. He's with Husky head coach Bob Motzko. All right, thanks a lot, guys and coach. Uh, how hard is it going to be for you guys to keep that momentum that you had after that 4-2 to two win last night? Well, in this league, it's very difficult. Be the, the team that loses on Friday uh, digs in all the deeper, and that's why sweeps are so hard. But uh, um, we, you know, we we put ourselves in this position a handful of times, and and it's been a while since we've done it. And, and our guys have to come out tonight with that same enthusiasm that they had last night, and, and put a lot of pressure on on Wisconsin and. And, and win that special teams battle and uh, we gave one up late uh, but, uh, but our penalty kill was strong a couple of times that it needed to be and then our power play is going to have to find a way to come through tonight. All right well good luck tonight. Thank you. Coach Bob Motzko is going to be up against Mike Eves on senior night for St. Cloud State and uh, Felicia Nelson is standing by right now with Mike. Thanks, Jordan. Now, Coach, 4-2 loss last night. Were you satisfied with the effort your team brought to the ice last night? Well, we were satisfied with our physical effort. The thing that was disappointing was our execution with the puck. Uh, we didn't connect the dots like we normally see our group do. And as a result, we didn't produce the offense that we normally see from our group. So the physical part, yes, the execution, we look to pick up tonight. All right, thanks, Coach, and good luck tonight. Thank you. All right, we'll send it back up to the booth. Thank you very much, Felicia and Jordan. Well, a big win for St. Cloud State last night. Certainly points that they need in the WCHA. Home ice is still a possibility. Let's take a look at around the WCHA. Lots of games going on right now in St. Cloud State. Certainly doing some scoreboard watching. A final already. North Dakota wins 5-2 over Bemidji State. Nebraska, Omaha, and Denver really doesn't affect St. Cloud State. No score in that one. Colorado College and Duluth play, and the Huskies are rooting for the Bulldogs to help them out. In Michigan, Michigan Tech, excuse me, in Minnesota, no score in that one early. Hopefully, Michigan Michigan Tech can help the Huskies out as they're both trailing them as we take a look at the standings. The Huskies would need the Gophers to lose preferably as well as Colorado College and of course they would like to beat Wisconsin as well but always a tense time in the WCHA with cluttered standings. Yeah three games left on the schedule for the Huskies. It is important for them to just do their job, win the games, worry about the standings later, the other games around the WCHA. Important for the Huskies to get two points tonight to put them in, themselves in a position for that home ice advantage. Dan Dunn getting the
getting the call between the pipes. His first start in 2011. What do you need to see from him tonight? Dan Dunn struggled with a little bit of consistency early. Look for him to get out and be aggressive early on, play the puck, just get the feel of that game speed again. That's going to be the most difficult thing for him. Well, the seniors will be honored tonight here from National Hockey Center. Last home regular season game, St. Cloud State in Wisconsin. Huskies going for the sweep next on Charter Main Street Sports. On senior night, a pair of seniors will get the call between the pipes. Dan Dunn between the pipes for St. Cloud State University. His first start since December 12th. Dunn gets the call. The Oshawa Ontario native 2-4-1 in the season of 3.27 goals against average. 89% save percentage. And Goodmanson, another senior. Scott Goodmanson between the pipes. 14-9-1, 2.05 goals against average. Four shutouts, a 93% save percentage. He was the guy that knocked the Huskies out the NCAA tournament last year. Thanks for joining us here on Husky Productions. Zach Fish joined alongside by former Husky Mike Doyle in the booth, Jordan Winan down ice side. Time to take a look at our Miller Auto Marine starting lineups. Zenger Lee, Lee and Smith up front, Gardner and Schultz on defense for the visiting Wisconsin Badgers in their white uniforms here at St. Cloud State. Where's the throwback unis and Huskies will start Roe Oslin and Marvin, all seniors up front. The senior barter on defense with junior Oliver Lordson, your Miller Auto Marine starting lineups. Our thanks to them for sponsoring the starters. Huskies wearing the throwback uniforms dating back to the 1960s. Dan Dunn will get the call between the pipes as the Huskies go for a sweep and Mike certainly getting an early start and getting up early like St. Cloud State did yesterday will be key. Yeah for the Huskies it's going to be important for this first shift. Three players typically not on the same line don't really know each other. Expect them hopefully win the draw get it in deep and then get the normal line out. Just traditionally you get the senior out there for the first line the puck drop. It's just an honor for them and a tribute. Underway here from National Hockey Center. Great crowd once again honoring the seniors. A very classy reception for them as all seven were honored and all seven in the lineup here tonight. We'll take a look at the St. Cloud State lineup here shortly as one of the seniors, Rowe, tries to bring this one out of the zone. Now to LeBlanc, left wing side. LeBlanc leads the team in points, goes back to Rowe. Two goals yesterday for him. He and Jensen switch positions. Jensen will go to Rowe. Doesn't think shot, gets it to LeBlanc. Three players deep for St. Cloud State. Rowe, back door to Hanowski. Looks for some help. Hanowski, great patience to Rowe. Fans want a shot. He'll get it from Rowe. He shoots and scores. Here at Rowe, top corner. A power play goal. And he stays hot. And St. Cloud State leads 1-0. Forward taken away by the Badgers. Here's Craig Smith. Johnson tries to get back. Two on two. That shot deflected off a Barta stick and wide. Now here come the Huskies. Maybe a partial break into the zone. Here's Fessler with Novak. Fessler back to Novak. Shoots and he scores. Travis Novak buries it. Perfect two on one for St. Cloud State on the transition. And it's two to nothing Huskies. Broken. And this one's knocked to center. Actually, that's another broken stick. Ruse was just lost along the far side. He gets it and gets back in the play. Shot taken, they score. Patrick Johnson buries it past Dan Dunn, and the lead is cut in half. Wisconsin on the scoreboard with 12-22 left here in the second. They're one for three. In front, here's Novak. Novak to the net, makes the move. It's up under the body of the defender. Now Fessler spin around shot. Stop, Ruse in front, rebound, they score. Aaron Marvin on senior night buries it. And St. Cloud State regains a two-goal lead. Three to one, Huskies. Backdoor pass, Jensen to LeBlanc. Great movement now, Rose slap shot block, keeps it in. Now here's Rowe with it. Back to LeBlanc. One-timer by Rowe, shoots and scores. Garrett Rowe with another snipe. A power play goal for St. Cloud State. His second of the game, four to one Huskies. Badgers hemmed in their own zone, set up the box. Ryu, hands want a shot from him. Taylor Johnson will take it, that's blocked. Ill advised there from him. And that's Christian, now to Johnson. For Oslin again, takes the shot and scores. How about your senior leadership? Here on senior night, Nick Oslin lights the lamp. Another power play goal for St. Cloud State. Five to one Huskies. Four. 
Reed looking for one more. That pass knocked away. Badgers can't clear it. Great stick lift by Fessler. Has it in front. Eddie takes a shot. Big rebound by Goodenson. Eddie, second opportunity, shoots and scores. There's six for the St. Cloud State fans. David Eddie draws the major, and he adds insult to injury and buries it. Six to one, St. Cloud State. Schultz again with it, takes a shot, blocked again by Lordson. Using every inch of his six foot seven frame. Great play by Marvin to get it out. And Goodmanson will come out of this cage as it was just a bit too far for the captain for the Huskies. Goodmanson gives it away. Marvin behind the net. Empty net shoots and scores. How about that? Seven to one, St. Cloud State. And when you're hot, you're hot. Aaron Marvin with his second on senior night. Badgers will clear this one, not out. Now to center. Big, huge hit thrown there on Turnbull. Chance in front, they score. Patrick Johnson, second of the game. And with 22.9 seconds left, it's 7-2. Puts a little bit of a damper on it, but still a great hockey game for St. Cloud State. See if the fans can get back into it. Chance for Turnbull, fires and scores. 7-3, luckily this hockey game is going to be over in 10 seconds because the Badgers make it a bit more respectable. Goals in a matter of seconds for Wisco. Regardless, the Huskies are going to get a ginormous win and a huge sweep here tonight from National Hockey Center. 7-3 final here on senior night. The Huskies are victorious, and they get great contributions from their senior class and send the Husky faithful out on a positive note this year. Their home ice playoff hopes are alive as St. Cloud State wins 7-3. Lots of highlights upcoming on the Burnix Pepsi postgame report coming up after this.